What's going on, you guys? I'm the Older Than Average Gamer, and today we're talking about Battlefield. You know, the first 14 months of this game's life has been pretty rough for it, and it's really no one's fault but DICE's. Um, They released the game before it really should have been released. I think that was very obvious to pretty much anybody who played it. Uh, It was not well optimized. It did not run very well at all on PCs for a significant portion of time. There were tons of bugs. And there were missing features that people just expected that this game would have because it's Battlefield. One of them being things like server browsers. Another one is actually coming back to the game later this month. The trend of major franchises releasing recently without features that their core audience uh, 100% expected to be in those games is becoming increasingly more familiar and more prominent. And it's a little confusing. Things like adding a limited playlist or a limited play mode Uh, that you take out a week later, even though everyone knows that game mode should just be in the game already. And Battlefield's been doing this the best so far. (laughs) And I mean that ironically. Games like Call of Duty releasing their game without ranked play and instead implementing SBMM again, and nobody wanted it. Absolutely no one wanted it. Only to, several months later, announce as if triumphantly that they were adding it back to the game. Well, this is where Battlefield comes in uh, with one of their two key features that they didn't add but are now bringing back, and that is the class system. Now, when I said key features, I did leave out VoIP, and that's really only because even though it was always in Battlefield games, it's really become less of a used function um, as this game has gotten older, you might say, or this franchise has gotten older. So, uh, you know, people who want to talk to each other will just party up or get into a Discord channel. Uh, So the in-game VoIP thing, which was weird that they left out, uh, was still not nearly as big of a deal as something like classes. And and here we are talking about classes now in January of 2023, when this game came out in October of 21. And, you know, better late than never. So the way this is going to work is all the specialists that are in the game currently are going to be moved into their own classes. um, And they're going to keep the unique gadgets that they have, McKay's grapple hook, uh, things like things of that nature, Boris's sentry gun, and they're going to be given limited access to other gadgets to make their roles feel more purposeful. For instance, uh, somebody in the assault class will probably not be allowed to use gadgets from the support class specifically. So things like ammo crates, medical bags, Uh, vice versa, maybe rocket launchers, C4, things like that. You're not going to be able to switch those uh, and use them for any specialist. It's going to depend on what class that you're in. Now, obviously, since this graphic came out, there have been one, there have been two new specialists added, uh, Zane and Charlie Crawford, and then there's a new one coming with the specialist class update. There'll be a new one that's uh, going to be added into the recon class. Uh, Now, I think you could probably assume that Zane is going to be put into the support group, Um, and Charlie Crawford will be going to the engineer class based on the fact he has a deployable weapon. And when you look at Boris and, uh, and Irish, they both have deployables, uh, that are used in the battlefield. So that just makes sense. I'm assuming that. And if there is that information for sure out there, please let me know. But that's my base assumptions. And I think that they're at least logical at the, at, at worst. Now, is this move to classes and you know, reorganizing the specialists into each class and limiting the kind of gadgets and weapons they can use depend upon that class, going to fix what the lack of these things uh, originally created. I don't know that I can say that they will, but I do know that 
at the very least, this is going to incentivize players to play the way most players wanted to in previous battlefields, which was juxtaposed to the other players on their squad. And of course, there would still be times when you'd have a squad full of snipers or a squad full of medics, whatever it may be, but at least each of those roles have a purpose now. Specialists have no point and they don't serve anybody other than the player by themselves. So this certainly, I think, does provide more team play potential and a lot more team play potential. So when is this coming out? Well, DICE originally uh, said this would be coming out early in 2023, and I was able to find on an EA forum uh, that they confirmed that it would actually be released on January 20th. So January 20th is the date to be looking forward to getting a chance to play Battlefield 2042 with real classes. And then the only thing left to find out is whether or not this helps to push this game back to feeling like Battlefield again. Something else to note is over the past few months, DICE has brought in veteran developers from previous Battlefield titles to help and work alongside the newer ones in an attempt to you know, reinvigorate the game and, and make it feel like its roots. For the last couple updates and what they've done with tweaking the game mechanics of this over the last couple months since they've had these new guys and gals in the studio helping to work on this game. I think we're in a good spot. Now there's still plenty to do better, but this is a lot this is this is a good thing. This is a very good thing, especially if you are a fan of Battlefield. Listen guys, thank you so much for coming back to the channel. I do hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave your comments below. Let's uh let's talk about this a little bit more i'd love to know what you think about it uh if you enjoyed the video maybe like maybe subscribe to the channel and click that bell for notifications uh when more content comes out again appreciate you stopping by we'll see you next time